What just happened? I did not expect that in any way, shape or form. I thought United were going to get schooled today by City. But one team did get schooled. And that was City. The manner of that victory there. 2-0 for United. Early goal. Martial wins a penalty. Bruno dispatches it. And an early goal in the second half from Luke Shaw, who's been the best left back in the Premier League this season. His progression has been sensational. I just cannot believe we've done that to City. A team that have won their last 21 games in a row. And a United team who only a few days ago against Crystal Palace looked totally devoid of any sort of team energy, of team creativity. It was the polar opposite performance to what we saw today there against City. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. When United go into a game as an underdog, we play so much better. And certainly we play better against a team that sits with a higher press, leaves space in behind it, suits our style. But United there, from the very first whistle, the intensity was there. Fred and McTominay, for the whole game, look, they were brilliant at breaking up City's play. They weren't good enough going forward. Their passes, but for me, pretty damn poor, largely. But that's the limitations of, of playing that style. But just the intensity of the entire team. From Shaw and wan who's absolutely pocketed Sterling again. Jesus, Sterling must hate playing wan and hate playing United. But I cannot believe what I saw in that second half against against City. against as a, This City team, which is clearly levels above any other team in the Premier League this year. And we made them look average in that second half. And somebody who was crucial to that was Anthony Martial. Where has that Martial been all season? He missed his chance, but he won the penalty early on and he he represented, the, he embodied the performance of the whole team. Really using his strength, actually showing himself as a hold-up sort of number nine, waiting to bring other players into play, into play. It was a fantastic individual performance from him, as was Dean Henderson's. Now, I said that if, if Dean Henderson... He needs to get his chance this season to prove that he's either good enough or not good enough to be United's number one next year because he wants to be. And on that performance, Dean Henderson is going to be our number one next year. It's, it's, things happen in football. Football's largely about timing. Uh, and with Henderson coming through and De Gea's form, can, De Gea's best time is past it. And with his newborn baby, maybe it's going to be time for De Gea to put his roots back in in Spain like, like he wants to do. But I personally think that Henderson there today showed all the signs you want. The confidence, the st and that throw for the second goal. Supreme. And De Gea, I'm sorry, would not have taken that throw on. And, and it's that throw which allowed that chance to be created. But just all over the pitch, individual battles today. United won them all. And to, to do that against City... And sustain that for pretty much the whole second half. It's kind of blown me away. Because I expected if I, I expected today, if United were going to get a, a win, it was going to be a, a sort of a snatch and grab. And technically it was because we took our individual moments with, with the goals. But we, had, we could have been three, four, five up in that second half if we were more clinical. So it wasn't really a snatch and grab at all. It was... United were in control and I was not expecting us to be able to do that against City. I think Dan James, he showed himself as an option. It wasn't really much more than an option, but he caused City's defence problem with his pace. And, and the, the tactics were spot on. The tactics worked. And in these big games, having Fred and McTominay, it certainly works from a defensive point of view. As I said, going forward, I don't think we had enough um, in the midfield between the defence and the attack. I, I thought that it passed that... We didn't have the quality, and that's where you miss someone like Pogba. Bruno Fernandes, someone everyone said, oh, he doesn't perform in the big games. Scored a penalty after the first minute and was just always there. That's what, how, that's what Bruno does. He helps the team tick. And I'm just, as I said, I'm completely and utterly blown away for the fact that was that really the same United team that played like a few days ago at Sellers Park and played out the worst performance of the season and followed that up by doing that against City? I'll tell you one thing. I wish our form didn't drop off a cliff since we went top because things could be very different. Uh, Captain Hindsight, you can always say that. But United there, showing against City today, this team can be good. 
this team is good. And I think that's why it's frustrating as a United fan because if you were looking at the fixtures on paper this week and you were looking at the results and someone told you that United were going to come away 2-0 winners away from home and then there was going to be a 0-0 draw, a tight, tetchy affair, you would have said that the 2-0 would have been Palace and the 0-0 would have been against City. And then Chelsea the week before. Now that You don't know what United is going to turn up. And I think Martial really summed that up for me today because he's been crap for months in terms of the intensity of his game. It hasn't really reflected the style that I think Solskjaer is trying to put on this team. But today, all credit to him. He was absolutely superb. And I, everybody was. I think Maguire and Lindelof, I think, well done. Both of them played well. As a back, our, our back line, as a unit, was very was under pressure for so much of that game. But we kept our shape the whole game. I think Henderson was a big part of that. But Maguire and Lindelof, they played well today. wan Saka and Shaw, they both played well. Shaw, arguably man of the match. I'd probably say he's man of the match. The guy's been incredible this season. and He's, he's the only player who's, who managed to avoid the dip in form where everybody else fell off a cliff. Shaw stayed at a top level. And today, one of his best performances for United. And it was... That's fucking great. Just absolutely schooled City. A team that's won 21 in a row. A game I went into with zero expectation. But United have proven me wrong on so many occasions when I've gone into games like that in the last couple of years. And I love it. I love being proven wrong every single damn time. I'll happily eat my humble pie tonight. And Solskjaer has beaten Guardiola again. Beaten Guardiola at the Etihad. Ended their run. And given the opportunity for United, we've got 10 games left now in the season. I said, well, my season predictions <laughs> went wrong straight away because I said we get nothing from that game against City. But... If United can finish second, Gary Neville said it in, uh, in his commentary towards the end of the game. He was like, if United can finish second, it's not just finishing second, it's the manner of finishing second. If we can use that as a springboard to kick on now and just really try and clean up the rest of the season, play with Verve, play with Panache and actually go at teams. Because when United go at teams, we do have the quality to break them down. And I think that's a big part of the frustration as well because sometimes we play within ourselves because we're a bit worried about conceding. But that's another game there, but we haven't conceded. And this time we scored two goals. It's been a while. Was it four hours before that? Well, thank fuck that's gone. But City's run is ended. I love doing that against City. Remember that a couple of years ago? They're 2-0 up at half-time. Think they're going to win the league against us? We win 3-2. Sorry, guys. There today, 21 games unbeat. No, sorry, guys. This United team can be fantastic. And I genuinely think it's only a, couple, a few, two or three signings away from being able to really genuinely compete for that title. And next time we go top of the league, we don't just shit ourselves. That's the mentality switch that has to happen. But as we've seen there today against the league's best, when they're in their best form ever, we can still not only do it, we can beat them and beat them comfortably by controlling the whole second half. Who's your man of the match? Game blew me away, really did. It's kind of, it was in a good way. Absolutely happy days. Who's your man of the match? Make sure you subscribe to United People TV or drop a like on it if you're watching it on Facebook. But United 2, City 0. Enjoy your weekend. Well, end of Sunday night anyway.